Moving on, anti-lockdown protests have reignited across Europe. Thousands of protesters took to the streets of various European cities on Saturday to denounce the COVID-19 restrictions put in place by the respective governments. Demonstrators marched in the streets of Georgia, defying a curfew introduced to stop the spread of the virus. Representatives of political parties, restauranters, joined the demonstrations in the capital city of Tbilisi, demanding an ease in restrictions. There is a continuous and I think grassroots driven protest in Georgia against the absolutely unproportional restrictions uh, uh, and there are two main reasons for that. One is restrictions of political rights of people, uh, especially without the parliamentary say in this process. Uh, uh, and it happens after the rigged elections where the genuine protest is on the ground. And secondly, because of the economic damage that, uh, that people, businesses, small businesses, different spheres in the businesses are protesting against. Uh, so I think uh, the government in Georgia is abusing its power uh, and using, uh, using pandemic for political Georgia introduced a second lockdown following a surge in COVID-19 cases in November. The government has allowed food facilities to operate in open spaces starting from February 15th. But restaurant owners are citing economic difficulties and demand the full opening of their businesses. Meanwhile, more than 600 people took to the streets of Copenhagen on Saturday night to protest Denmark's COVID-19 restrictions and the country's plans for a digital vaccination certificate that is a vaccine passport. Protesters gathered in front of the parliament building to protest against Denmark's partial lockdown. Protesters marched through the Swiss city of Zug, wearing white protective suits and chanting slogans against the country's COVID-19 restrictions. Switzerland's restrictions have been less severe than those in Germany. Austria or Italy. Restaurants and non-essential shops were shut to contain the virus spread, but ski areas, however, remained open. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.